What's good, y'all? It's your boy Francis checking in right here at the showroom. Got a bunch of dope interviews for y'all. Starting off with the homies from Full Time Levitators. We caught up with Frico, Coke Classic from Philly, and we also got Oki from Atlanta Fashion Tech discussing the fashion forward panel. So keep it locked right here. Hey, right. What's up? You watching the showroom yeah. TV? It's full time levitators? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to giving pop up, Georgia Lottery. Yeah. Shout out showroom TV. Yeah. Michael Lawrence, Mike Merlot, FTL, Better With Time, <laughs> Cam, Bankhead, FTL. With the grip on Rico, you know what I'm saying? He came up with the name, but it was more so out of necessity, man. We just wanted to have something, you know, a movement, something of our own, because we saw a lot of people doing stuff. We just really wanted to start our own stuff instead of, you know, join somebody else. Movie. We start ourselves, so you know, start as a little yeah. lifestyle movement, and then we get into merchandising, and just gonna keep it slowly, just expanding from there. You know, levitating is about constant progression, just always rising up. Mm -hmm. Balance, progression, separation. That's the three monster in the giant. That's why you see the separation in the piece right here. Uh huh. You feel me? The uh, tribal aspect is the arrowhead. That's why you see the, the arrowhead. I'm a junior. Full time tribe. Tribe. Coming. Coming eventually. He's at from all. Philly, I'm from Pittsburgh. Yeah. But I mean, we, I've been down here for 10 years, so I, like, this feels like home to me. So, you know, we, we in Atlanta, why would we not make a brand that has something that reps Atlanta? Like, you know, we're not just trying to make some random shit. We're trying to make stuff that people from the city can be proud to wear, you know, rep. We got LA brands, a bunch of New York, you know, but you know, we got put on for the A. So, yeah, we really want to do something that adds to the culture and doesn't take away from it. So, that's why most of our projects, whether we're Chilio or Paper Frank or Free Go, shout out to Free Yeah, shout hey, out to the artists. You know I'm going to say this, man. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't how this shit, we don't know how she came together, but this he he snapped so crazy with all this artwork. He he went crazy, man. I can't I can't thank him enough. For real talk. He was just it was too easy to work with. It was just we, it just came together and I'm just glad everything turned out well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, you know what I'm it's, saying? It's him. His artwork is crazy, with his gut, bro. Like, you yeah. never know what you're going to get. The colorways, just the, the, the design. Like, he got the actual scratch off on her, 55 trillion. You know, he's yeah. he's always going to take everything to the extreme. Right, so, so that's, that's what we, that's what we right needed. We, wanted, we don't put limits on artists like yeah, that. Yeah, we, we wanted him to do him, you know what I'm saying? Just find a, a, a theme that we could mutually work on and just let him just do him. Bro. That's crazy. Catch us on IG, not often, but you know. You might hit Merlot on a snap. You might be on a snap. Right. You might catch me on a snap. <laughs> you know but um, yes. That, at, at Levitators, Twitter, Instagram, um, fulltimelevitators.com. Yeah, website. We're gonna re re relaunch the website with the new merch soon. Check us out. We just we all about progression. Just doing something positive for for Atlanta. You know, young, young black youth. You know, just trying to become entrepreneurs, businessmen. Just trying. To, we got inspired by other other homies that have independent clothing lines, and you know, we trying to keep it, keep it going. Yeah, shout out to you, Bill. Yeah, shout out Music Care. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. It was. Thank you. Really, yeah. Yeah. It was really. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's Rico Rico, F-R-K-O. I'm in the streets all day, you already know. Today's event is a pop-up shop with me, Rico, Chilio, my mentor, I've known since like I was 16, 10 years now, and then Coke Classic, uh -huh. the illest clothing company on the East Coast, they're from Philly, they came all the way down here to do a pop-up shop. I'm really inspired by Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Everybody be seeing The Simpsons, but like I think a lot of kids didn't realize like I don't think a lot of kids were like able to watch Beavis and Butthead when they were kids. I watched it though. Okay. So Beavis and Butthead. I mean, I mean, I watch a lot of stuff, man. I, 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 it's, I mean, it's inspired by real life events, the street shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm an East Coast guy. I've been up and down the East Coast all my life. You know what I mean? So I'm from here though, born and raised in Decatur, Zone Six. Shit, my art is anything, man. Anything I kind of think of, man. Like, I, I, I got a, I got a wild sense of humor. I have people call my art dark. You know what I mean? I got a dark sense of humor, so I kind of like, like, I like messing with people's minds and stuff. I like putting people on things. You know what I mean? Like, okay. it's more than um, 
it's more than making people like say, ooh, that's cool. I want people to say, ooh, like what is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like why why is he doing this shit like this? You know what I mean? That's that's my whole thing. I really don't care if you like you like it or not. Yeah. I wanna tell the story, I wanna educate, you know what I mean? Even if it's good or bad education, like education, education. You're gonna look at it, you're gonna learn something from it, you know? Uh, people can follow my IG at Rico Rico, like and that, you spell it F R E A K O, uh -huh. and Rico like Puerto Rico. And then you can you can hit my uh, you can hit my Big Cartel. That's why I sell my stuff. You can go buy it frko.bigcartel.com. I'm Joe Pitts. This is Anthony. I'm from Jersey. I live reside in Philly. Brand called Classic. I will go by DJ Quiet. Yeah, I'm from uh, I was born in Chester, live in a little town called Eddystone. I've uh, been in Philly for the last 10 years. We linked up to Philly three years ago. This is our brand called Classic. And then we're down here in Atlanta showcasing a new collection. It's called Black Like Water. It's a real race and justice driven uh, social justice and angle storytelling collection. Each piece has a story. Uh, and that's, that's what we're down here showcasing what's going on. started in 2012. Uh, it really started, we would just make some banner tees. This is the logo. Uh, we wanted to put off an underground culture in Philly. Uh, we were linking up with a lot of hip-hop artists, bands, uh, skate culture in Philly. And so the term called classic, you might know, is, uh, is something. It might be a movie, it might be uh, an album that comes out. At first it might not be respected, but over time it gets an appreciation. So with Cold Classic, we want to talk about ideas, movements, art that uh, we think is important and people need to know about. Uh, it's four hats in the collection, it's three shirts, um, and then the all over banner tees. But the shirts, we we came up with, Joe had this idea, it was hard rock band, it was hardcore band, you should see. And they had the shirt where it was like all over prints with newspapers. So then um, we took the, we took, we stripped the newspaper font down, and then we put in like over, I think, a hundred quotes of like prominent people of color, uh, uh, positive quotes. And we supplemented them into the shirt, so we had the all over print. Um, there's three, there's three different images for the shirts. One is a uh, Gordon Parks, boy in Harlem. The other one is um, Lauren, what's her name? Lauren Nelson. Lauren Nelson. Um, she was hung in the South, and then um, the last one is some kids in South Africa part time. All the shirts come with like a bio explaining the pieces, and then hats. And the hats are just based on like. I wanted to do like sports memorabilia type of hats, but I wanted to pick like four things that black people might not know, or people of color might not know about. So, um, I just thought about this one. Yeah, so the hat he has on is in 1971, uh, 1st of September. It's the first time in a major league game nine minority players started the game. That's also the same year they won the World Series for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, the next one was Jimmy Winkfield. He's the last black person to win the Kentucky Derby. Uh, the story behind that is like during early horse jockey racing, it was prominent for black people to ride the jockeys because during the time coming from slavery, they was the ones that handled the horses. So they would be the ones riding horses. But now we've got to the point where there isn't any black jockeys racing. The other two pieces is a Malcolm X hat. I really wanted to redo the hat on based on like my idea, my aesthetic. And the last one is um, the 1968 Mexico Olympics. Uh, I used to run track in college, so that's like my way of like infiltrating a little bit of my personality into the pieces. Well, basically, um, Coat Classic with the fashion portion of it, the, color, the clothing is, is real Americana, modern Americana. We want to tell every story that America is. That's the good and the bad. So we draw a lot of influences from American fashion. Uh, Tommy, Polo, these are important things. But the thing with a brand like Polo is they don't always tell the real story of what America means, and that's the good and the bad. So with the clothing, um, we want to make statements where we're honest about what what American culture means. And that's the thing is, I love America. I love what it, the, the beliefs that it's built on, um, civil, the civil rights, the Declaration of Independence. But in practice, it's not always that way. And shit gets fucked up sometimes, and especially in modern America. So in every single collection we do, we want to make statements about what's really going on. It's not just about high society. I don't want to just talk about, oh, we can all go to the golf course or the polo course and we can get, you know, drink lemonade and that's what it is. No, like, there's people living out here that are struggling and we want to be honest with everything that it is, the good and the bad. And that's what makes America a beautiful, fucked up, crazy, paradoxical thing. And through the brand, 
might be a little confusing how I'm explaining it, but we're going to tell those stories in each collection. I mean, if you Google Cold Classic, you're going to find the definition of Cold Classic, you're going to find the Wikipedia, and then you're going to find our website. It's Cold Classic Goods. ColdClassicGoods.com. Instagram, Twitter, just look up Cold Classic. That's what it is. Um, I'm Joe Pitts. This is he goes by quite height. He DJs too. That's another thing he does, and that's an important part of our platform. We got a lot of homies that make hot shit. And we want to play the hot shit for the homies. But it's uh, quite hype. It's Q U I T E H Y P E. Uh, it's quite hype on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, if you go to the website, it just takes you straight to Co Classic. This is Joe Pitts. Yo, it's Anthony with Quiet Hype Co Classic. You know we rocking with the Showroom TV. So holla at him. Showroom TV. <laughs>